And so let's talk about how you personally designed our gorgeous <laughs> studio for the holidays. You did such a great job. We love you. Aww. How did you create this winter wonderland? Well, I love creating winter wonderland here because then I don't have to do it at home. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it once here. Just do it once done. here and I'm fun and done, right? <laughs> so I always try and pick a theme right away from the beginning and I always want to change it up. So this year I was inspired by the Aurora Borealis, oh, the nice. Northern Lights. So I really wanted to lead into purples and blues and greens. Mm. I even did in Beauty a custom Aurora Borealis wallpaper from about wow. murals and it's actually uh, Banff, Alberta. Oh, so lovely. So it's actually a scene from Banff, the actual Aurora Borealis. So that was very cool. And then basically per zone, I just kind of filled it in with lots of great accessories. So for in beauty, mm -hmm. I did I threw in some great luxe pillows and throws. In fashion, I was kind of inspired by Narnia. Okay. They go through the closet yes. into a wonderland. So this is our wonderland after the closet disappears. Love it. And so many twinkle lights. I love that. So many that. twinkle lights. I think that's a really big thing for holidays. Add mm -hmm. the twinkle lights and just layer pieces in. That's really the yes. big trick is to layer it in. Of course, when you go into DI, the demo area, yeah. I added in a classic mantle just so everyone would know what to do for the holidays. Keep it simple, keep it chic, easy to do. Yeah. And then I always say, don't forget about your kitchen. That's we spend right. a lot of time in our kitchen, add in some great decoration. Yeah. It's really simple if you've got a shelf, fill it in with a Christmas village, keep it nice and simple, some great bottle brushes, and everything was from HomeSense, so it was easy to find. Oh my goodness. That might be my, between this and the kitchen, my favorite spaces, <laughs> like just gorgeous. So. You used a lot of different materials, textures, colors to really bring the studio all together. You're so creative. It's why we love you. And we're, <laughs> it's why we're leaning on you right now to show us how to wrap our presents uh, this season. Why should we consider sort of wrapping with fabric this holiday season and staying away from wrapping paper? Well, I think, I mean, I think I've told you before, most wrapping paper contains no paper, so it's not even recyclable. Right. So it's great if you can lean into sort of fabrics, use some scrap fabric around home. Mm -hmm. I actually started doing this a couple years ago because my grandfather wears a bandana all the time. Yeah. So I thought it would be nice to like get him a new bandana and then wrap it in the bandana, right? So it feels like something for them. Yeah. So it's really easy. It's a classic Japanese technique called shiburi. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy. You literally are just going to take your bandana you nod it one way yeah you nod it another way and you're you kind of tuck so. your tails and you are done yeah right there it's super good. easy and then they've got a gift at the end the bandana yeah if it's your grandma she likes a silk scarf you could do a silk scarf instead this is really but I actually nice. think it could be really beautiful all these different fabric patterns under your tree and then yes. it's reusable and I just like it because it's a gift and a gift. Gift and a gift. That's really nice, right? Yeah. Okay, how do we elevate the gift cards? All the kids want are the gift cards. All and if you have someone you're not necessarily close with, you might want to do a gift card, but you can elevate it a bit. I mean, I want a gift card. I want a gift card, too. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I actually elevated it. You can get those sleeves from the store. They're really not that interesting. Yeah. They're brandy. Mm -hmm. So I actually made a custom greeting card with this little cricket. Okay. So I don't know if you know, I'm kind of addicted to my Cricut. You can yeah. do lots of things. Literally, it cuts at home. It writes for you. Mm -hmm. So I made these custom greeting cards. So you literally can see the first step, it actually will print out with a pen. That was done by the Cricut. Okay. And then it cuts it out for you also. So you nice. switch out the blade, it cuts it out. And then you get this guy at the end. And then literally, once it's done, you can sit in an insert. So you get these beautiful custom cards. I did Be Merry. They've got them for every sort of festival festivus for the rest of us etc uh, and then yeah so these beautiful hand cards and then you can just stick in your gift card right so literally there are a way where it will cut so you can slip it in if you can't figure out the cuts you can use a glue dot which literally is what little you did glue here. dots is what the stores do even so i did that here i yeah. mean i want this gift card yeah me too right <laughs> But yeah, really easy. And then you literally can do a custom card for anyone. It could all different. And you all do it at home. So it's easy. This is so good. You can have whatever you want. You can put people's names in. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that is so good. Okay, we're going to move to a customized tote bag now. Yeah. Totes all the rage, especially like this, uh, you know, that, that material. Yeah, the unbleached canvas. cotton canvas is really popular. Yeah. So I thought I'd make some custom totes, which are actually really fun because you could put your gift inside and then they get a tote with them. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but around the holidays, I like to dance. I like to shake my tinsel. You like to shake? It, baby. <laughs> Who doesn't? Right? So I actually made this also on the Cricut, and they actually okay. have a Cricut press. So you can print out every single one that's actually a iron-on letter. So it's iron-on vinyl, okay. really easy. It comes out like this, really not that glamorous. You then do a thing called weeding it, which you literally take away the extra vinyl. So you Hold just get your letters. For one sec. So you yep. just get your letters, shake. Yeah. I know they hate when I do that, but this one is a shake. <laughs> And then you just lay them in on your toe. And I actually did it at home with my iron because I'm not fancy like you sea line people on a press. Oh, I'm But this is actually a cricket press. And yeah. you can actually put it on top. It literally sits there for 15 seconds. Yep. There you you take it off, you peel off the plastic, and you get a perfect tote. 
That is so cool. I've actually really tried um, doing it with the cricket at an event, and I was like, yeah. I could not believe you put a little bit of weight on it yeah. and took it off, yeah. and it was like, ta-da! And you can get these totes for like less than a dollar a piece online. Like, it's really so easy. Good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, how do we create super shiny wrapping paper while also being eco-friendly? Because we know the shiny stuff, once again, oh, yeah. not recyclable. But we love a good shine at holidays, right? We do. So, I don't know about you, but I've discovered when I like to wrap, I like to have some red wine. Me too. I've also discovered red wine pays really well with potato chips. Oh, yes, I agree. It's a fantastic combination. So then I was combination. sitting there and I thought, wait a minute. I mean, I don't know if you want to open that up and make it some potato chips. I was opening the bag of potato chips and I realized the inside of a potato bag is really shiny. Yes, it, so where are we going with this? So just pour it in. <laughs> are you ready? Okay. I mean, I prepped this one for us, so now we have two bags of chips. Nice. But. So if you cut off the bottom, yeah, and then I always say cut along the back seam so you don't get that weird seam. Oh, it smells like Look heaven. shiny paper. So the trick <sighs> is take a paper towel and wipe it. It can be a little greasy. Wow. Um, but then you get this beautiful wrapped paper, right? Mm -hmm. Totally reuse it. <laughs> if you crinkle it a little bit, I actually did on this one, I crinkled it even more on purpose. Okay. It started to crinkle so that it just looks like the effect. Yeah. You put on a super fancy bow, no one knows until they... Smell, Smell it. it. <laughs> It'll be everyone's favorite thing at the holidays, right? That would like, make me like it more. Right? Sour cream and onion, please. I'd be sad if I opened it and there wasn't chips inside. I know, right? Very yeah, good. Yeah, easy to do, and then you can reuse it. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about gift tags. You also have a way to personalize our gift tags. Yeah, so like this guy right tag, here. This gift tag I actually made on the full size Cricut. It can cut wood, the Cricut maker. Nice. And then I use the Cricut Joy to do the custom vinyl. So I always love doing it as the gift tag, and then it becomes an ornament. Oh, that's beautiful. So Tracy, 2022. And then my rule I make is yeah. I give everyone a pen after they've opened it. Yeah. And I want you to write on the back a favorite memory from 2022. Okay. So then when you put it up the next year, you remember how great that year was or a special memory. So every year you get a different memory on the back. Hold on. I want you to see my memory. I'm excited. It better involve some like... Vodka? Chips. No. <laughs> it's eating chips with Christian. That's a good memory. That was a good time. That remember good that time. about two minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. That's a phenomenal memory. Christian, thank you so much for that.